children. This is Miss Fury and her dog Spencer who is never far behind when I'm at home. I think that if we were still in school he'd want to be there too. <laughs> so I've had a lot of questions about writing from you from both kids and their parents so I thought we'd do a little lesson at home and look at a sentence on the board. So our learning target today is I'm learning too. Your turn. Write a complete sentence. Let's say that whole thing together. I'm learning to write a complete sentence. Now, who remembers what a complete sentence is? I'll give you a moment to think on your own. What is a complete sentence? Hmm. So let's see here. Let's see if you know what a complete sentence is. If I say the cat, is the cat a complete sentence? If you said no, you're right. The cat is not a complete sentence. It doesn't tell a complete picture, complete idea, or a complete story about what we want to say. And we know that letters make sounds, words make meaning, and sentences tell us a story. They tell us something. So if I say the cat, I don't know what you're trying to tell me. I don't know what your story is about. I don't know what you're trying to say. How about I cat like the? No. When you read out your writing aloud, then you're able to understand whether or not it makes sense. And then you can tell if it's a complete sentence. So let's take a moment, I kind of gave you a preview, and let's read what Miss Fury wrote on the board and see what we can figure out what the writer did well. But before we do that, I want you to also think about what the author also might need to improve. So let's take a moment and look at it. There's a lot of things that the author would have done well in this writing. I, the, cat, like. Now notice when I read, I used my finger. We always use our finger when we're going back. Hmm. Well, let's look at some things that the author did well. I'm noticing right here, I have our sight word chart or our sight word list. I'm noticing that the author wrote the word the and the word the is on our sight word chart. Okay, and the word the is spelled T-H-E and it's down here, it's the first thing under T. So I know that the author wrote that word correctly. So they did that well. So I'm gonna take a green marker and I'm just gonna kind of underline it. You don't need to do this with your writing, but it can help. It can help you sometimes with your editing. Let's see here, I noticed they spelled the word cat correctly and they spelled the word like correctly and those are all sight words right here so I'll underline those now let's go ahead and go back and look at what we might want to change in the writing let's read it again because our learning target is I'm learning to write a complete sentence that means it needs to make sense it needs to tell us a complete story about what you're trying to say I the cat like. Hmm. It looks like the author has all the ideas on the page, but maybe they're a little mixed up and not in the correct order. How might we reword that? Think about it inside your head for a minute and you can say it out loud at home. The cat like? You know what? I think they might be trying to say, I like the cat. So we know we've got some things we need to fix, fix here. Let's look at the beginning. Oh, do we ever write lowercase i's when it's a word? We do not. We don't put a capital I in the middle of a word. But I is just one of those weird things. When it's a word, it's always a capital. And it's the only one like that. 
I don't know why. So I'm going to go ahead and down below, I'm just going to copy the capital I and no, oh, Emmy agrees. And know that when we're writing, that we want to make sure that we're checking to make sure our eyes are capitalized when they're a word. So I, and then we said the word that came next was like. Now, are there some things in this word like that we need to fix? I think there might be. Oh, I hear Daniel too. I hear my kitty. I told you guys, Miss Fury has a lot of pets <laughs> and they like to think that I'm teaching them. So they're pretending to be you right now. Little silly buggers, aren't they? All right, like. Well, I'm noticing the L and the I are correct, but that looks like a capital K and a capital E. Do we write capitals in the middle of our word? No, we don't do that. We write lowercase letters. And what needs to go between our words? A space, that's right, a space, so I, space, like, L, I, K, lowercase, E, K, I, space, like, whoops, space, the, hmm, well, we know they wrote the really well, so let's write the, T, H, E, okay, I space like space the space but I can't remember what I was trying to write so let me go back and reread again because sometimes I lose track so we want to read things the reading way the way we would when we're reading a book and we also want to read things the writing way when we're writing a story let's check I like the oh that's right I was going to write cat I space like space the space cat. Oh, and I wrote cat correctly, so I can just copy it right down there. I like the cat. Now, am I done with my sentence or what am I missing at the very end? Let's see. We're going to read it the writing way now. I space like space the space cat. <gasps> Period. We need to end with punctuation, don't we, Spencey? We need to end with punctuation. So let's end with a period, because I don't think I'm excited about it. I don't think I'd be yelling, so I'm not going to use an exclamation point. And I, it's not a question. I like the cat. It's not a question. It's a statement. It's a complete sentence. So I like the cat. That is a complete, simple sentence. Mm -hmm.